Hey YouTubers, Electric Adventures here with another pickup video. Yes, I know I said I was cutting back. <coughs> Keep on looking. Um, I got another bulk pickup. So there's quite a few items in here. I've already pre-cut open the box because it was taped up very well. So congratulations to the sender. And let's see what we can see. Okay, our first item is a book. The Book of Atari Games. Twenty one sensational games. So it's actually a uh, programming book. So this goes in line with um so mentions you can see there so all in Atari basic so they'll work on an Atari 400 with only 16k of RAM so they'll work in the basic one I mean I don't actually have the basic cartridge for the Atari 400 at the moment because I was missing out of that pack I got recently but I do have the um, the uh, Atari XE that I can um, I can type one into all right let's keep going Next item is a boxed Atari 2600 Real Sport Tennis. Now, obviously, a little bit of a thing, but considering the age of these things, it's actually very good. I'll show the back. And look at the Look at the condition of the cartridge, that's awesome. And um, we have the manual as well. I don't think it's about damaging the boxes, guys. The manual's in awesome condition. That's really good. I won't try and repackage these as I do them, otherwise I'll damage the manuals. one is a box night driver so once again okay, the box is in pretty good nick just a little bit of you know obviously it's been opened and things and inside we have and this is an original uh, packaging night driver and the label is in awesome conditions. Atari cartridges are renowned for suffering from bad glue. No manual with that one. I mean, I'm not in any... I mean, I was collecting my Atari ones, I'm quite happy to just collect them loose, let alone box. But when this lot came up, it was just too good to be true. And there we go, the much better Pac-Man game on the Atari 2600, Mrs. Pac-Man. And that box is awesome condition. Okay, continuing there. I don't know where I got up to. I'm sure I showed it to the back. Let's have a look inside. So, my goodness, we even have the plastic wrap for the cartridge, and the label is immaculate. And we have the manual. A little bit of fold there when it was last put in. So these are um, all in very good condition so far. It's very pleasing. Right, on to our next one. Then, into the box of goodness. Next, we have another original launch title, Dodgem. And for how old the box is, this is in really good condition. So we've got an original, I'm forgetting they're upside down, original launch label type. Uh, no manual of this one, but that box is just fantastic. Okay. 
and amazingly, in this box lot, we actually have two dot jumps. So this one in the box isn't in as good condition. Would be a great trade for somebody. Ah, look, this one's even got the plastic. And the label is mint as. Next we have Street Racer. And look at the box, it's just once again, fantastic condition. My cartridge is even shiny. Um, I've got a manual with that one. The instructions are even shiny. So um, it's just wonderful when you find it that you know, things from this long ago in such good condition. Cut my to keep on reaching round. Next we have another original so when I say original, you know there was sort of like three phases of Atari laces. This is a first phase, Video Olympics. And once again the boxes very good condition. Cartridge label. This is what all the original series cartridges look like. And we have pretty much mint game instructions. Um, so this is a very good pickup lot so far. Next we have Breakout. Boxes in really good condition again. And so is the cartridge label. And the instructions. I really am going to get trouble putting the, trying to put these instructions back in whilst doing a video, so I'll just stack them and fix them up later. Now, a really excellent early Atari game, very strange, Yars Revenge, but actually quite a good playable game. And I do believe I don't even have that one loose. I mean, so a couple of the others I'm not sure I have either. And look at this, we have. pretty much sealed. Room instructions. So I'm very much liking this box lot that I got. And fishing again. Right, and next one is an Activision title. We have Spider Fighter. We have a little bit of box wear and damage. Once again, still, all of these are still better than there we go. There's an original price sticker of $59.95 on there. And we have right, so a little bit of label, you know, sticker thing, but it's still going to be better than any loose one that's been hanging around. And no manual for that one. So Spider Fighter is actually not a bad little um, Activision shoot 'em up that one. And next we have Combat in pretty much a mint box. Don't know how many times I'm going to do that? So a near perfect label. Manual, just a couple of little fold marks up near the top. It's probably difficult getting the manual in and out of the box. 
as I generally find. Other than that, I'm doing very well. And then we have Pac-Man. So, not one of the best 2600 games, and one of the ones they say assisted in the downfall of the um, video game industry. But we actually have a Pac-Man cartridge that's in very good condition. And includes the manual. Okay. <coughs> Down to the next layer of the box. We have Atari Dig Dug, so this is second phase release in the silver boxes. I mean, this game wasn't out at all in the first phase, so this would have been its original release. We have a mint cartridge. I really like how these cartridges have been sealed in Ziploc bags to preserve them. And we have the manual. I mean, these man these boxes were glued, so not folded close. So you're going to get some opening damage, no matter how careful the original person was. But we can be very pleased in the condition. Okay, now this is something the non-Australian people out there might not have seen: is boxing in these plastic containers. So this is a very Australian uh, form of packaging done by Futuronics. Now my golf definitely didn't have that one. Looks quite interesting. Let me show the back there. That's quite a colourful looking cart. We might have some cheat codes or something in there as well. So this is the what we call third series of release of cartridges. So we go to the red border, and this is one of the newer titles, Crossed Bow. So this wasn't released in the earlier ones, as far as I know. So this box is in pretty good nick. Only a couple marks where it's been opened previously. So they actually, you know, started adding a bit more artwork to the to the labels. And I don't believe I have a crossbow already. And we have the manual. Easy to put the instructions in too, so slightly better box interior. <coughs> right back to another original. Well, I don't know what the Atari Special Edition bit down the bottom. Signifies. So I purchased it Grace Brothers for $59.95 originally. So video chess. It's definitely original series because of the labelling. And we have the instructions. I'm sure I've got that one loose, but Right, so I might have a few um, loose Atari cartridges up for trade. Next we have Boxing, Real Sport Series. And that box looks brand new. Another cartridge all nicely preserved. Saying I'm not going to put them back on the video, but I can't help myself. Um, <coughs> although the room behind me wouldn't uh, indicate it, I'm actually a clean freak. Right. <laughs> um, right, but technically this is the garage. Right, and next we have Activision Tennis. 
so not too bad. I mean, this sort of condition is, I'd be happy to have them in, but some of these are way better than that, so it's actually... This is somebody's well-loved connection, so that label's in really good nick, which is pretty good for an Activision one. We've got a couple of bits of paper in here. We've got an Activision catalog, a um, like a distribution card, and a manual. It's actually not on the front page. There we go. And the instructions. So very impressive. Cartridges. I do apologise for neighbourhood uh, disruptions and dogs. <laughs> okay. Next, I might just screen out some of this noise. We have another. Earlier title, Enduro. Um, might be considered one of the most boring racing games in existence. <laughs> Alright, so we have the normal um, glue problem that you have, especially with Activision cartridges. But we have the manual, never seen one of those before. Nice checkered flag effect. And the box is in really good condition. Going. Right, another original series Atari game. So. The manual, and pretty much not had very many that don't have the manual. expand out the uh, Atari 2600 collection very well. Definitely going to have to look at some more shelving now. It's going to make these take up a lot more space. And of course we have a very good game for the 2600, Asteroids. A bit of block square around the top. So this is a uh, Label, always come a nice picture of it. It's in really good condition, nice and shiny. And there we go, a hexus. That one doesn't have instructions. Right, most of the cases are all the plastic ones. So, a title reviewed by Mr. Benway just the other day on the 8 bit series. This is the 2600 version of Hero. The gameplay is almost identical, it just uses you know slightly less detail on the textures, but it's still just as fun. I actually quite like this game. And I don't have it at all. So if you oh, it's upside down, so no instructions, but these plastic clamshells are actually quite good. Okay, another one that I didn't have is Donkey Kong by ColecoVision, but for the Atari. And we have the instructions in the cart. Now there is, looking through here, this isn't clear anymore, see it's yellow. Um, so there is a little bit of yellowing in the plastic. Another one that I didn't have, Title Match Pro Wrestling. plastic cases are very good condition. So there we go, this one's the plastic's the not clear colour and the cartridge is really good. So they're very good at preserving the um, 
cartridges. And then we have another game which I didn't have and is a really good game. Demon Attack. So I've got a bit of yellowing in the pla interior plastic. The label's in really good condition. So, well, as you know, it's a magic. I mean, normally you'd see a uh, demon attack with the magic logo on the cartridge. So that's that is a different variant. Uh, next we have Star Master. Which is Activision's version of Star Raiders, in an effect. It's quite a different game, though. I don't believe I have that one either. Next we have Ghostbusters. Oh, I remember this game. It's not a half bad game. Okay. It's a little bit of personalization by the last owner on there if you can just make it out with a pen there. Obviously that's not going to come off, but it's still boxed. Uh, California Games. Sorry about the flexion. Any bad thing about plastic box? Oops. So these plastic boxes come about because Futuretronics um, got the rights to produce Atari items in Australia for Australian distribution rather than have to import the titles. So they use the plastic cases and there's also where you sometimes get slightly different labels as well. Although that's the bump and jump. I mean I've got a loose one of these already I think. But these cases, as you would agree, nice and tough. They don't they crush resistant. It's very hard for the corners to get damaged. And last but not least we have Kung Fu Master. even have instructions of this one, so instructions, and there's the cartridge itself. Alright, um, thank you very much, that's all the items in the box, <laughs> so it might be a bit of a long video, um, and I hope you enjoyed those pickups. Um, this weekend I'll definitely be going back to one of the places I get shelves off to see if they've got more stock and doing a bit of a rearrangement of the room. Um, I'm going to Melbourne next week and I'll be picking up another system for the collection if all goes well. Um, and um, after I've got that in place um, I'll probably do another room update. Alright, thank you very much for watching and hope to catch you next time.